Welcome back. We are in the calm period before the winds really start ramping up and the cold weather returns, Noel. Um, we're talking about winds that will pick up towards gale force midweek here, Ben, but if you're out in the lower harbor of Marquette, some of those waves are moving on shore at this hour. Plenty of sunshine to start your Monday. You gotta love it. Temperatures are in the lower 40s across Marquette. Temperatures cool a warm throughout Upper Michigan. Wind peaking around 24 miles per hour. We are under low pressure throughout the region. We've got our almanac data from National Weather Service Marquette. 43 also around the Nagani Township area where National Weather Service Marquette is stationed actually. Sunset at 6.31 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Above average. That's been the long recurring story throughout the winter, not just for February, throughout Upper Michigan. Our highs today, oh yeah, 59 degrees over in Silver City. Nearly got to that 60 degree mark. Trout Creek, 53 degrees all along the areas of the western UP and the interior, but also Cedar River as you get over to Delta County. Got to 53. All driven by a southerly wind. A southerly wind brings the warmth, and we got as high as 45, 44 miles per hour around Passage Island for our peak wind gusts of today for today here. Here's your outlook for the next five days. Embracing the warmth. We're going to get it tomorrow afternoon, but be ready for a quick change and flash freezing some icy conditions with a wintry mix to kick up late Tuesday and then a return to winter. Bitter cold temperatures below seasonal snow and wind picking up for Wednesday. There could be some moderate to heavy snow showers across areas of the region for midweek and then the snow tapers off as we head towards the weekend. Here comes another warm rebound across Upper Michigan again to start March in the region. So satellite and radar, I showed this earlier in the newscast. The jet streams north of us, it's done its part to keep a system across Ontario and Quebec. To the north, we'll get some light precipitation at best. It's the big system that's developing across the front range of the Rockies at this hour, and that jet's going to bring it in midweek across the region. National Weather Service says, hey, okay, it's been, it's two days out. We're going to bring those alerts because you want to be prepared. You want to have that heavy coat handy later Tuesday, especially if you're hanging out into the late evening hours that's when we're going to get this sharp change to winter. The winter weather advisories could go as far as Wednesday morning for the western counties and then for Alger County East going into Wednesday afternoon. So there could be some moderate to heavy pockets of snow to fall especially over the eastern half by the, by the time this is all done by Thursday. Future radar and temperature, southerly winds, but chance for some light precipitation, rain or snow not making much of an impact. Temperature lows for Tuesday morning around a 30 degree mark. Partly sunny skies. We're going to enjoy this. There's going to be some uh, increase in clouds as we get towards the afternoon. There could be some patchy drizzle and some light rain. Temperatures for your highs tomorrow can range from the 40s to the lower 60s across the Wisconsin border. That's into the late afternoon. Once we get into the evening, all bets are off over the western UP. We'll stay warm over the east, but temperatures dropping below freezing across the counties of Gogebic and Ontonagon counties. It's going to be a mix Tuesday night across the west. It's going to make its way towards the central counties overnight into Wednesday. But as you get into the eastern UP, a few thunderstorms and some pockets of heavy rain possible towards Sault Ste. Marie and St. Ignace before that snowy changeover into Wednesday. Temperatures could range anywhere from the teens to lower 20s for the afternoon moderate to heavy snow across the northern portions of Upper Michigan, especially across the Huron Mountains and the eastern UP near the Lake Superior Shore by the end of Thursday night. Also, gale force winds that could get to 40, 50 miles per hour from the north as we get into Wednesday. Keep that in mind. As these, these changes, these temperature swings within seven days there have been, it takes a whole lot of force to get make that all happen. And it's all reflected in these gusty winds. So we'll be dealing with a drop off in temperature midweek and then a gradual rise to some spring-like warmth again as we begin March. All right, thank you, Noel. And remember on the free TV6 and Fox.